I would tell anybody who doesn't have to deal with sickle cell or who's never dealt with sickle cell um, to be nice. And I know it sounds simple, but that can go a long way. Skeet, it was, um, honestly, it was, it was kind of rough. Um, I mean, we were blessed, you know, but me personally, it was kind of rough. I had a rough childhood. Some of the things that made my childhood rough, well, the biggest thing that made my childhood rough was being bullied, um, being different. Kids aren't used to seeing different so when they see different they kind of target you so my different is me having sickle cell um, um, and not just having sickle cell but when you look at me you visually you like you you see it you know other people who have sickle cell you don't know but with me you can see it as soon as you look at me with my eyes so I'm different from most sickle cell patients because um, when I was three, I had my spleen removed and it just kind of made my jaundice a little heavier. Um, so it shows more than other people and some people I think grow out of it, but mine never did. Um, and if you know me, you know I drink a lot of water and that's the reason why, because I don't have my spleen, I have to like flush my system out manually by myself, um, which helps with the jaundice, but it doesn't completely take it away. I used to pray like, God, like why me? Like take it away, like I don't want this. Um, it was hard, it's just, you don't really understand that as a kid, now I look back and I'm just like, okay, it, God gave me this for a reason, he gave me this for a purpose, but, um, as a kid, you don't know that. You just know I'm not like the rest of the kids and therefore I'm being picked on and therefore no one likes me, no one wants to be my friend, you know. Um, so it was, it was, it was tough. People do give me compliments like, oh, you're beautiful, but it's hard for me to accept that because I've, I've had it multiple times where it's kind of just like people see that, they see the outer and then when they get close to me, it's kind of just like, whoa, like, and that smallest, whoa, I shut down. Like, cause now it's just like, you gave me the compliment of being beautiful. And then that whoa kind of felt like you took it back because you saw my eyes. So it's kind of just like, it's always been hard for me to accept a compliment because I feel like, but is it gonna be taken back? Like once you really see who I am, like when you see me, are you really gonna still think Oh, she's beautiful. I would tell anybody who doesn't have to deal with sickle cell or who's never dealt with sickle cell um, to be nice. And I know it sounds simple, but that can go a long way. And not even with just people with sickle cell, like anybody who's going through anything. Um, we never know what people's struggles are. We never know what they're dealing with at home, in their head, you know mentally, emotionally, so if any kids are watching this, whether you have sickle cell, whether you don't, be nice. Ask somebody, what can I do for you? Like if you see someone who's different, don't, don't make them feel like they're, they already know that they're different, so don't make them feel bad for being different. Embrace them, embrace their differences. We're all God's people and he didn't make any of us the same, so I would simply say be nice. The name of my foundation is the Letty Foundation. And funny story, so my uncle gave me the nickname Letty when I was younger and I hated it. I hated it with a passion. I would literally like get mad at him for calling me Letty. And my family started calling me Letty, like it pissed me off. Um, but 
it just, this is how I know it's God because it's coming full circle. Now that I'm older, I have four cousins who's pa who's passed, who has passed from sickle cell, and Lindsay, Emmanuel, David, and Yvonne, and they all spell Letty. So my, find, my foundation is named after them, and then it just so happens to spell my name, so the Letty Foundation. Like I said before, this was not my plan, this was God's plan, and it's bigger than me, and that's how I know it's from Him.